Welcome once again to Chinese Pod. Uh, this lesson is for you newbies, and we're talking about mosquitoes today. And my、mm. name is Ken Carroll. Hi, I'm Jenny. I'm tempted to make the mosquito sound. Ah,、uh, go ahead. That was pretty good, Jenny.、Yes. That was excellent. That was a, <laughs> sound like a real mosquito. Well done.、Um, well, why don't we then listen to、uh, this dialogue,、uh, the mosquito thing, the dialoguey、yes. thing, and then we'll come back and we'll explain it to you. Dialogue first time. 哎呀，怎么了？我被蚊子咬了。哦，我去关窗。Second time. 哎呀，怎么了？我被蚊子咬了。哦，我去关窗。Third time. 哎呀，怎么了？我被蚊子咬了。哦，我去关窗。Well,、yeah. how do you translate some of this? Um, let's have a look at it. Yes. 哎呀 ，What the? 哎呀 ，Ouch. 哎呀，怎么了 ？What's wrong? 怎么了？ What's wrong? 怎么了？我被蚊子咬了。I've just been bitten by a mosquito. 我被蚊子咬了。I've been bitten by a mosquito. 我被蚊子咬了。哦，我去关窗。Oh,、uh, I'll go and close the window. 哦，我去关窗。Oh,、uh, I'll go and close the window. Oh, 我去关窗 Now the first thing here, we had an exclamation, which is impossible to translate.、Uh, you did very well, though. Thank you, thank you. So let's hear it again. 哎呀，哎呀，哎呀。嗯。Now it can be used in many ways. When you're surprised, you're shocked, dismayed.、Uh, this, is a, this is a lovely exclamation it can, exaggeration. It, it is. It, so、mm. it can be used in many, many, many. If you're like、uh, tired, you can go ah yeah. Yeah. So it depends on the tone. Indeed. How you say it. Lots of different ways to use it. So let's hear it again one more time, please. Ah yeah. Ah yeah. Now that's it. That'll make you sound like really fluent. Just say that in the middle、this、of the group. This is the、mm-hmm. trick. Indeed. Ah yeah. yeah. Now your friend and、uh, obviously、uh, wants to know what's causing you the distress. So your friend says, "Zamala, zamala, zamala." Now zamala means what's wrong?、Mm. What's the matter? Yeah. Is anything wrong?、Mm. What's up? Yes. All of those、oh. things. It's basically a way to inquire what's going on or what the problem、mm. is. So let's listen to it again. Zamala, zamala, zamala. Now the tones there. Ah,、uh, third neutral and neutral. Really? Yes. Third neutral and neutral. What an unlikely combination. Yeah, it's a <laughs> but mala. it's true.、Mm. So let's hear it because I think it's important to sing that sound to get、mm. it to get the sound right. If if you would please. Zamala, 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 zamala. So there you go.、Uh, now here, if this is your first lesson in Chinese, you've just learned the most important exclamation, which is. Aya. And you've learned the most important question to ask if somebody's having an, an issue, and that is. Zamala. 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 Now, or you know, you're going to sound fluent straight away. You sound like a pro. Indeed. So in this case, what happened was、uh, your friend was bitten by, by a, mosquito. a mosquito, and so、mm. the sentence was. 我被蚊子咬了。我被蚊子。Now let's look at this from the back.、Uh, mm. We have the expression "yao la." Yao la. Yao la.、Mm. Now "yao" third, third tone means 
Uh, to be bitten or to bite? It's the verb to bite, essentially, to bite, right? Yeah. To bite. Mm. Uh, yow. Like you can say the dog bites. You yes. Know. He, he, yow. Mm. Now, yow uh, indicates the particle, le indicates it has happened. Yes. Okay, yow, le, meaning uh, has been bitten, mm. right? Now, um, so in Chinese grammar, the forms of the words don't change. It, the language no. doesn't inflect in that sense, no. uh, but you indicate... Uh, a passive voice. Uh, for example, passive voice, or in this case, a present perfect aspect, mm. uh, by using particles. So the words yes. themselves don't change, but you add a particle. So mm. yao is a verb to bite. Yao, it means to be bitten, yes. has been bitten. Okay. Welcome back to another installment of... Chinese pod trivia. And the question for you is, for what test does Chinese pod offer preparation services for? Is it A, the polygraph, B, the colonoscopy, C, the HSK test, or D, the CAT scan? Uh, the CAT scan? Ooh, sorry, that is incorrect. The correct answer is C, the HSK test. That's right, Chinese pod will thoroughly prepare you to pass this rigorous test of proficiency in Chinese. ChinesePod.com forward slash HSK. Now let's look at the rest of the sentence because this is a uh, pretty pretty cool stuff. Now, so the word for mosquito is. 蚊子. 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 Mm. <laughs> Sound cute, doesn't it? It does, yeah. 蚊子. <laughs> yes. The second town, right? Second and 蚊子. neutral. Mm. Okay. 蚊子. Now, 我, as in I. Yeah. Now, 被, fourth town. Yes. Now, actually, this is kind of convenient. Mm. Uh, from a grammatical perspective, this is called the, the, the passive voice. Yes. Uh, but we don't need to worry about that. So what you need to do, I think, is just listen to the sound here. Now, the bay uh, very conveniently sounds like the word English word by in this mm, case. Yes. Uh, and, and, and so I was bitten by a mosquito. 我被蚊子咬了 Now, 我被 is, it, it means, I, it, it, it's a passive voice. Yes. I have been mm. 我被 Mm. So I have been bitten by a mosquito. Now, so the same construction, I've been bitten by a dog, you'd say. 我被狗咬了. 我被狗咬了. Mm, Great. Yes. So 被 comes after the uh, the pronoun. Indeed. Mm. Now something else, I've been bitten by a, what, what else might bite you? I don't know, a spider, let's say. 我被蜘蛛咬了. Mm. There you go. So the the, the 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 pattern there is is the same. Pretty useful. Uh, now bay is uh, as I said, it's a really useful construction. Uh, you'll find other uh, references yeah. to it on the site how to use it. Now and so the last sentence we had was. Oh, 我去关窗. Oh, 我去关窗. Now if from the back here we have the expression. 关窗. Guan Chuang. Mm. Now that looks like two first, first, first tones. tones. Yeah. Guan Chuang. Mm. Now, so could you tell us about those two, please? Guan Chuang. Guan means to close. Yes. To shut. And yes. Chuang means the windows. The window. Mm. Oh, Guan Chuang. Close the window. Yes. There's some kind of mnemonic I'm trying to think here. The window. Because the word for bed is. Chuang. Chuang. Chuang, second tone. Second tone. Mm. So think uh, window first and then bed. Okay. Yes. So you have Chuang and Chuang. 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 Good. Think of it in your mind the window first, the bed second. Mm. Maybe you close the window and get into bed or oh, open yes. the window. Okay. So again, uh, if you could contrast those two sounds, would be great. Uh, window and bed. Chuang. Chuang. Great. Now, and so once again, to close the window, we had. Guan Chuang. Guan Chuang. Guan Chuang. So, mm. which is essentially close the window. Yes. Okay. Now, wo chu, meaning wo, meaning I. Mm. And chu, the verb chu means. I'm going to. To go. I'm, yes. Yes. So, I'll go and close the window. So, let's hear that again, please. Wo chu, guan chuang. Mm. I'm going to close the window. Yes. Okay, let's listen to that again three more times. Dialogue first time. Aya. Zamala. Wobei Wenzi Yao La. Oh. 
我去关窗 Second time 哎呀 怎么了? 我被蚊子咬了 哦, 我去关窗 Third time 哎呀 怎么了? 我被蚊子咬了 哦, 我去关窗 now, uh, let me just ask you, Jenny, mm. when when you yes. pay when the yaula, mm. what do you do when you're bitten by a Mama? You call for your mama. Yes. What is <laughs> I she? still do. <laughs> really? Um I find She comes with a uh rattle spray. <laughs> ah. Oh sorry, a raid spray. The raid stuff. Yeah, the yeah, Chinese the, translation the sounds like rattle. Mm. Yeah. So it's just uh, you spray the place, do you? Yeah. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. There's all sorts of stuff you can use. Oh, I uh, used to spray the mosquito, not so much to to sort of chemically kill it yeah. but I think the mosquito dies from drowning because yeah. I spray too much on yeah. <laughs> well um, and what about the actual itchy feeling anything to cure that oh traditional Chinese remedies oh you have some like a traditional Chinese perfume Woo. which stinks rather than <laughs> oh, <I didn't> cure. <laughs> radiate um, my daughter uses toothpaste she puts toothpaste oh, on it oh yeah that's a home remedy I think huh? that works works yeah. very well when mm. you bei wen Yes. You can put some toothpaste on it. Wow, your daughter is more grown up than me. Well, Certainly she's for resourceful. Sure. <laughs> okay, we hope that was useful. The mm. topic today was Wednesday, which Wednesday. is mosquito. And mm. what you do when you get bitten. Yao. When you are yao. yao. Oh, mm. You got to watch out for that. Okay, well, we'll be back again with another lesson and we don't bite. Uh, oh. But in the meantime, you can go to ChinesePod.com and bite into some of the, hey. the goodies there. Yao, Chinese pod. Indeed. Mm. All right. We gotta go. Yes. Zaijian. Zaijian. As usual, ChinesePod provides an extensive selection of learning materials for this lesson on its website, www.chinesepod.com. You can access this lesson directly with the lesson number 0509. So just go to www.chinesepod.com slash 0509. And you will find a transcript, vocabulary, and much more. The link again, www.chinesepod.com slash 0509.